Hello, good morning to you. Thanks for joining me. And uh, if you haven't already, then please click the subscribe button. Share the video, share the channel, tell your friends. So this story is in the Mail Online, and it was regarding the South Wales uh, incident, the lockdown, the fire break, whatever you want to call it. Basically, the fire break to, uh, is um, given the opportunity for the police to go around raiding churches. So the latest uh, event that's been invaded by police telling them that they're breaking the rules is a church in Cardiff. Um, and the police just showed up. And so they've knocked on all the windows and all the doors. They've shined flashlights. So please pray for us right now. Um, yep. So I'm just letting you know that that's what's happening. This is in Cardiff. We're not even in a third world country right now. This is in Cardiff. The Red Leafs are going to the saying that people need to stay at home and obviously prohibiting gatherings indoors more than six people, not in yeah. the same household. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to ask you to do is to leave uh, and obviously worship at home or worship in other ways or wherever you obviously wish to see fit. Just give it 17 days, wait for this to blow over and uh, go from there. I want you to, to spoil a part or anything, but obviously it's the, it's, it's the law. What is it though? Can I... Can I... This is really strange, and I say it respectfully. Yeah. See, I've, I've, we have we love you guys as police officers, yes. we are, and we're not law-breaking people. Please hear me. But when they say to us that it's illegal to come and worship our God, mm -hmm. this is the West. Forgive me. This isn't this isn't the nation somewhere off in the distance, somewhere else, or somewhere else. Me and my me and my colleagues, we're gonna we're gonna go to the door, right? We'll give you a couple minutes to gather your stuff and, and do your bits, right? And then. Thank you. As you've seen on the video there, the uh, police came in and um, were quite good about it, but they did in the article on the Mail Online, the Mail uh, article, and they've been raided by police and been stopped from having their church service, a church filled. The packed hall. <laughs> yes, I don't, don't know how it was packed, but didn't look it. So they have been given a chance to uh, finish off, and uh, they get obviously they get them um, five minutes to end and leave, and the people complied. The argument was that they had more than six people in the room. And they weren't related. So this is affecting church services now. Yes, yeah, so it's got to the point where the fire break, uh, we're uh, locked down in South Wales and Wales. And this is what we can expect unless we start to uh, push and try and get people to see what exactly is going on in the world. I was sent this... It's something that I was sent and I printed it out onto an A4 page. It's ideal for that because what, what it covers is uh, various questions that people may have, such as talking about the, the government stats and also the tests and censorship. And um, as a whistleblower um, comment there, um, there's also a, a bit about how it's making no sense at all and why they're doing it and also there's a list of um, websites that they can research now I'm thinking that I'm going to get some copies of this and hand them out to everybody because I think that the more people that we can inform the better it's going to be because I think the pushback like we've seen in South Wales with the stupid situation where you're not allowed to buy essential, you know, you're only allowed to buy essential items. And of course, there was some confusion over what you can buy, such as clothing and uh, sanitary towels and things like this. And uh, the, the uh, uh, South Wales, uh, Wales government have said that it's your fault because you did not read the 
guidance correctly and they didn't never never said that in the first place but maybe just me but I think that people are being gaslighted because why would why would a load of people read it wrong it's um more likely that you um in the government have r written it wrong and um if you didn't mean that then you shouldn't have put it so we will take action today so that retailers understand that our rules already allow people in acute need to buy the basics which are essential to them over the next two weeks but yes so somebody's been to tesco wearing his underpants <laughs> it's quite funny uh, because obviously clothes are not essential so obviously they're not essential you can't buy them uh, so why would you want to wear them clothes are not essential i'm not filming you clothes clothes are not essential i do understand the logic behind that and it was obviously just to make a point but the point was very well made uh but yeah, you know, I mean Tesco, to be fair, are only following what they've been told to do. And uh, you remember, it's a pyramid system. It's a top-down government system that comes down each level. I explained that in my other video, the, the triangle, the um, pyramid. And we're at the very, 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 very bottom. And we have to obviously take orders from above above us and um likewise tesco are in that pyramid being a supplier so they obviously answer to the government who are dictating these stupid rules which they have to then enforce and follow such as what you can buy as i said in my other video they were already we're only uh what maybe four or five days in on this latest uh, fire break, uh, shut down, locked down, and they're already announcing that there's going to be another one. Second fire break in Wales, likely in January or February. How do they know that's going to happen? How do they know they're going to have another fire break in the new year? Surely people can see the the illogical and stupid situation that we're, that they're in. Uh, Bearing in mind that Wales, yes, is part of the UK, and I can see that Wales and Scotland are doing their own thing. Um, however, usually what happens is England follows suit. So, don't, don't be at all surprised, because they have announced that there will be, uh, over Christmas and New Year, there's going to be... Uh, tier 4 or tier 5 or whatever tier it happens to be um, because they are determined to keep this narrative going for as long as possible as I said in my other video regarding uh, Wales and the proposed uh, second fire break the purpose of it is to drag it out until uh, March April time next year when the vaccine will be available and people will be so sick of it that they will be clamoring they will be clamoring for it they will be lining up round the round the streets to get this because they're sick of this um lockdown thing but they think that oh I'll, I'll get it because then it will sort things out no it won't also what they're saying in the news is that the, they want to give this vaccine to all of the key workers the nhs staff the doctors and i'm thinking would they actually do that because i personally have this theory that they that they won't do it they will not give the real vaccine to key workers and staff because well they don't want them, they don't want them to die for the starters they don't want them to suffer so i personally think that they will give them a placebo um which obviously then they can announce oh look all of our key workers doctors i mean 
They've all got it done, so it's perfectly safe. And I personally think that they won't get it done the same way that the government would not have not have it done either. I think that they would, uh, even if they, um, like the, the Chris Whitty of this world, where he was seen having a, a jab, we, I, I, we all don't reckon that was real. I mean, in actual fact, one of the pictures had the needle cover on, so we know it was not real. It could be a stage, obviously, they will say, well, you know, he already had it done. It was staged just for the photograph. Well, you know, sure, if, if you're going to stage something, you make sure it's perfect. Otherwise, you're going to get a critic. Unless, of course, it was deliberate to antagonise the the dissenters. So they, when they do um, make comments about it, that they can just say, oh, well, you know, you're just an anti-lockdown, anti-vaxxer, and um, try and discredit people that way. And say, well, no, he did have it. But um, personally, I think that this coming up very soon, where they are going to give it to everybody, they will give it to the elderly and the vulnerable and disabled. They will definitely give the real uh, thing to them. So key workers and everybody else like that, I think they will get the placebo. And that's just my, I've got no proof. I've got no proof. Uh, I just have this funny feeling based on past history and the fact that these bastards are lying. Uh, they've lied about everything. So why change about this? You know, it's, it is clearly a good way of um, using propaganda. So look, look at our key workers. They've already had it done. It's perfectly safe. That's why it's been rushed out. Yeah, probably say. Anyway, that is it. Catch you later. Bye for now.